let's now understand about heterotrophic plants. Now we discussed this briefly in the initial video but let me explain to you what do you mean by heterotrophic plants. Plants which do not make their own food okay are known as heterotrophic plant. So most of the plant have chlorophyll and they can make their own food. However, some plant do not contain chlorophyll and they are known as heterotrophic plant. Now depending on how they obtain their foods, they are divided into two categories. One is known as parasite. Okay. And the other one is known as saprophytes. Now, please note that we are talking about plants here and not animals because there are certain animals also which are parasites. Okay, the most common example being that of a mosquito. They feed and suck on our blood. Okay. Now, what happens is that a parasite is normally I mean, technically speaking, a plant which depends on other plant for food. Okay. So many a times, if you would have noticed, you would have a situation where there would be a tree Okay, and there would be certain yellows and twinings of branch, another kind of this thing, which would have some leaves also, all of them being yellow in color. So what happens is that these plants depend on this particular tree for their food. So this tree is basically known as the host and this plant is known as the parasite plant. So what this smart creature will do is it will first entangle itself across this tree. Okay. Let's say something like this. Okay. And then it will try to pluck in some roots within this tree and try to suck the food from this tree. So these plants are known as parasite plants and this tree from whom they live or depend upon is known as the host. Let us now understand about saprophytes. As compared to these, the saprophytes depend on dead and decaying plants and animal for their food. So what will happen is that these saprophytes basically let's say something like a mushroom. Have you seen these mushrooms which grow in multiple numbers wherever these dead plants are there. So what do they do? They will feed on this dead and decayed material which could be either plant or animal for their food. So first example is mushroom. Then you have yeast. Okay. Now let me give you a classic example of how this happens. Have you ever seen a piece of bread at your home? If this bread is kept for a couple of days, it will start having these green green marks on itself. These green marks are nothing but fungus. Now 
how do these fungus obtain food what this fungus will do is let's say this is the fungus this is your bread it will secrete certain solutions or certain chemicals into this bread so once that chemical goes into the bread it will dilute and form kind of a liquid this liquid is then sucked back by the fungus so that's how basically they survive and live